Welcome to Zonk. Story 1. I, 30s female, cheated on my husband, 30s male, of almost 20 years. How do I even attempt to write what is wrong? I don't know why I did this. I threw away all my morals and standards for a guy who wouldn't even remember my name. I let myself be cowled into doing this by my friends. We were married so young. I had dated for a few years before and then I ended up having a baby. I don't regret this. I was happy. We had two truly amazing kids and life isn't bad. He was a wonderful man and everything I dreamed of growing up. My prince charming so to speak. But I convinced myself that our marriage was dead, that we only stayed together for the kids. Even when we were first dating as kids, I wanted to break up because I was convinced he would rather find someone more attractive, or he would just break up with me when he went off to college. Honestly, why? I knew deep down I didn't need to stay. I loved that man so much I found excuses to stay. But why did I allow it to fail? Why would I cheat? How could I throw away all my standards and morals just because I was horny? We're not together anymore and probably won't ever get together again. He says he could forgive me, but I don't want to be forgiven. I told our kids the truth that I was unfaithful. I don't want them to think actions have no consequences. I don't want them to think less of me. But I already know they have no respect for me anymore. That's fine. I deserved it. I was too prideful, too proud, and when I was laid off, it worsened. I wish I could have just did something instead of just giving up. Instead, I cheated on him and ruined everything. When we last met, it ended peacefully. I lied. I wanted nothing more than to get back together. And yet, I know the trust is gone. So my question is, how do I fix this? How do I win back his trust? How do I prove to him I can change that I can be a better person? I love him still. I don't want to find another man. I took our relation for granted, but maybe things could change. What, in your opinion, would possess someone to cheat on their SO? Cheating was not me. It was nothing something I did, and yet I did. Let that man be on his own. Maintain a respectful attitude and cooperate with the children, but any other connection is over. Accept the consequences of your actions and face the situation you created. Making efforts to reconcile or remain together will only bring pain. Preserve the current state of things and proceed forward. Comments Work on being a good mother, a better person, and a cooperative co-parent. Forget getting back with your ex. That's done. Let him move on. That was a horrible mistake, yes, but people do make mistakes. If you truly regret what you did, you need to take a step back and look into yourself. What led you to feel this way throughout the relationship? Does it have to do with low self-esteem? If so, there may be underlying issues and for now you should look into some therapy for yourself. Work on yourself and work on your relationships with your kids. It will take a while for them to regain your trust but show them you're trying. Don't slip back into old habits and focus on your family and becoming a better person who loves herself. As for your ex, try not to worry about getting back together. If you've been honest with him, that's all you can do. If you really mean it, then first try becoming friends again and building up the trust. It will take some time, so don't expect a reunion soon. Try days out together or interests, but always just as friends. If he can get over this, then maybe in time you could rebuild some sort of relationship. But friendship is maybe all you can hope for from him. Story 2 My boyfriend and me have been in a relationship for a year and a half. We met at school, he was my first ever boyfriend, he's basically my first everything. He's always been very into gaming, but like, a lot. It's always been a problem of ours. Often he just starts gaming and forgets I even exist. I sort of feel more like a mom to him than an actual girlfriend, and maybe that's why I cheated on him. My boyfriend always used my pictures on his gaming profiles because being a girl gains a lot more attention on video games. During the summer of 2019, he started playing a game on a private server, and for some reason he was really invested. He wanted to be a part of the staff, so he started texting a lot of these people, and being really active on the server. 
One of the developers, 24 male, saw my pictures, and I guess he was interested in me. So my boyfriend wanted me to start talking to this guy so he could get free stuff. He wanted me to make him fall for me, and so I did. The thing is, I started to get feelings too. All the attention I was never getting from him gaming, this guy could provide. We started talking a lot on Snapchat, but towards October, I just cut him off completely because I felt like I could be unfaithful to my boyfriend. Time passes, and all I can think about is the other guy. Towards December, I decide to message him again without my boyfriend knowing, and we connected for real. It wasn't like before. I knew I was lying to him about my identity and the fact that I was in a relationship. But it just felt so good to have an escape from reality with him. I forgot to mention that he lives in America while I'm from Canada. So meeting up wasn't an option for right now. We talked about me immigrating and us getting married and having kids. I was so attracted to the fact that he was more mature and was stable in life. We definitely both develop feelings, but I knew deep down that I was lying to him. I knew I had to tell him that I wasn't this gamer girl, and so I did. I lied in the story to tell him that I had already broken up with my boyfriend. To my surprise, he took it very well. He didn't mind, it even made our bond stronger. My boyfriend eventually caught on to the fact that I was acting suspicious. He confronted me and I told him about everything. In my head, that relationship was over, but we just started to hold each other and cry and talk about how we love each other. In my mind, I thought I wanted to be with him, but I guess it was just the emotions. He made me block the other guy. I sent him a long text telling him sorry for everything. He still responded fairly well and said that he would always be there for me. Right now, after a few days, I think I don't want to actually be with my boyfriend, but rather with the other guy. And I wanted to know how to tell him. I've hurt his feelings a lot in the past couple of days, and I know I have to do this quick because I want to get the other guy back. I don't know what to tell him, and I would really need advice. I know what I did was wrong, and that should have ended the relationship sooner, but it's easier said than done. Comments It seems like the situation you described is quite complicated and emotionally challenging for everyone involved. Cheating and maintaining dishonesty in a relationship can have serious consequences and cause significant pain. It's essential to reflect on your actions and take responsibility for the choices you've made. Moving forward, it's important to communicate openly and honestly with your current boyfriend. Sit down with him and have a sincere conversation about your feelings and the realization that you no longer want to continue the relationship. Express your regret for the pain you've caused and explain that you've come to a decision that's best for both of you. Story 3 I've been with my boyfriend for five and a half years. We have had a lot of bumps along the way, but we've always seemed to work things out. He has cheated on me once that I know of, but I forgave him for it. We've been long distance about 90% of this relationship and it's starting to get difficult. I'm 24 and he's 23, so we started dating fairly young. He says he's going to move to where I live end of summer, but I don't know what I want anymore. This is because I recently cheated on him with a coworker who I really have a big crush on. I did it because I'm getting tired of long distance and I feel like things aren't heading anywhere with my boyfriend, since we've always been long distance. Plus, I was drunk. Me and the man I slept with have hung out three times and slept together once the third time we hung out. Now here's the catch. He has a girlfriend of three years. He hasn't spoken to me since we slept together. And this leaves me utterly confused. I have this huge crush on a guy who apparently used me. I feel embarrassed about what I did. I haven't told my boyfriend and I just don't know what this means. I really want to contact the guy I slept with, but I don't want to look clingy. But I want to know why he stops talking to me. I'm a horrible person, I know. Cheating is wrong and I'm not proud of what I did, so please be kind with your words. Please help me work out my spiraling emotions and do the right thing. Love is complicated, and as humans, we make mistakes. However, if you're unsure about what you want, it's better to break up with your boyfriend instead of leading him on when you're not fully committed. It sounds like you're highly infatuated with the other guy, indicating that there might be issues in your current relationship. It's not fair to string your boyfriend along in that case. My suggestion would be to take some time for yourself, explore other options, 
and get your life in order before committing to another relationship. By the way, the other guy doesn't sound like a good match for you. Even if you cheated, you don't need someone like him in your life. It won't bring you any positive outcomes. Comments I'm so sick of people saying I got bored with long distance so I cheated but I still want it to work. If you wanted it to work, you shouldn't have cheated. Yeah, it sucks being LDR, but if you're gonna do it, at least have the balls to stick with it and be honest with the person. You had a one night stand with a coworker who obviously doesn't give a shit, and a boyfriend you don't deserve. I'm sorry I'm being a dick, but you put yourself here. I think you should tell your boyfriend so he's allowed to make the decision whether he still wants to be with you or not. Cut all contacts with your crush. Break up with your boyfriend. Stay single for a good long time to get your emotional bearings in perspective. Perspective is needed so you can confront yourself on why you made those choices. It will be unpleasant, but you need to go through it. Preferably with good counseling. Life's too short to be stuck in such a shitty situation.